it inside your veins, sweat dripping down your head. Feeling like you might give up, but you push on through instead. Learning how to survive, hanging by a thread. No time for sitting still, got the man watching us. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nation 98 Hello, all you pet shoppers and video gamers. This is Lil Nintendo Shop here. What's up, everybody? I'm I Can Snake. Hello, everyone. This is Winged RS28 here. Greetings. This is CC Trainerling. Uh, unfortunately, some of our members, like Russell Reviewer and Dallas Bacon, uh, they couldn't join us today. They had other things they had to do. But other than that, guys, did you hear that Sugar Sprinkles found a way to get from the show into YouTube? Huh? Secret Cupid is my name. Some think I'm cuckoo. My secret's not too secret though, cause look what I do do. Whoa, where am I? This is so crazy. It's like I'm inside YouTube or something. Hey. Sugar Sprinkles, <laughs> how did you get here? Nick and I create a 2,000 digit algorithm security and the password is only known by all the pet shoppers. The league, that is. Oh, whoa, well, I don't know. I was just walking down the sidewalk, playing my ukulele, and this guy with a trench coat dropped his phone, and I picked it up and hit a button, and like, then like, whoa, I just zoomed through cyberspace or something? I don't know, there's lots of sparkles, and here I am. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're, we're doing great. good. Yeah. Doing great. Oh, good. I'm great, too. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I'm Kelly Metzger. I play Sugar Sprinkles on Littlest Pet Shop. And guys, What's up, again? Kelly? I am great today. It's a <laughs> lovely day in Vancouver. Yeah. How are you guys today? We're great. We're great, We're great fantastic. yeah. Fantastic. Awesome. And guys, we are very honored to have Kelly Metzger join us for this interview today. We are very happy to have her with us. Yeah, it should be fun. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Um, would anyone like to start off with the first question? I'd like so, to start. With um, first so oh. let's let's hear some some stuff about yourself. Like, what voices have you done in any cartoons or live action series? What voices have I done? Well, um, my main show right now is called Ninjago, and I play Nia, the little robot building sister of Kai, who's one of the main ninja boys. So that's my main show. Um, but in the past, I've also been on Powerpuff Girls Z, and I have a guest spot playing Spitfire, one of my more famous uh, roles on uh, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And I also have a voice uh, in Tara Duncan is a show that I've done. Yeah, amongst others. That's great. Mm -hmm. I've got a question. How did you get into voice acting? Uh, well, I went to theater school, and I did a lot of plays, and then I decided I wanted to specialize in voice acting, so I took some voiceover workshops and uh, made a demo, and um, then began auditioning, and it took a couple years for me to get uh, a gig, and that's how we did it. There was 10 years of acting training put in before, and, and experience before I got my first uh, voiceover job. Yeah, that must have been like really hard work. Must have been very hard work. It was. It just it's a, it's a it's very fun work, but it's you have to put in your time, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Anyone else want to ask a question? So, what other hobbies do you have other than voicing television shows? What other hobbies do I have? Well, I like snowboarding in the winter time. Um, what else do I like to do? Um, me and my friends are building this, uh, have you ever heard of the Burning Man Festival? Yes. Yeah. I think so. I don't think um, so. But... At the Burning Man Festival, it's this big festival in Nevada, um, where mm -hmm. it's like an arts festival. And yeah. if you want to bring a car down there, it has to be a creative car that's called an art car. Yeah. Um, and, and you can only drive like five miles an hour. So we're building this car that looks like a cloud. So it's just going to be floating around very slowly. So as one of my hobbies, I like to um, build giant art projects like that. So anything that sounds that involves, really, like, really awesome. Yeah, like, like metalwork and woodwork. And I call it adult crafting. <laughs> That's really awesome. 
Yeah. So that's one of my hobbies. All right. Uh, the next question I have for you is, other than sugar sprinkles, who would be considered your favorite pet? <laughs> who would be considered my favorite pet? Uh, I think Kyle Rideout's um, iguana. Vinny? What's it, What's his name? Vinny. Vinny. Terry. Vinny. He's pretty funny. He's pretty <laughs> yeah. funny. I also yeah. like Peter New's character as well. Sunil's. Yeah. Sunil's a great character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really like him. <laughs> yeah, Sunil, I mean, not Sunil. Vinny's a lizard. He's not an iguana. Oh, he's a lizard. He's not an iguana. Well, okay. gecko or whatever. But gecko. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're, they're, gecko. All, they're all similar. Okay. All right, and the other question I have that's so off topic. Well, technically, but no. What's it like working with the other cast members like Sam Vincent, Peter New? Um, They're really fun. That's a That's a fun show to work on because it's such a big cast. And so everybody's in the studio together. Uh, they're really good. Um, they're really funny. Uh, what's it like? It, it's, it's fun. Does, I'm, always, I'm always happy bring, to work. Does um, Tabitha cookies just like in MLP? Tabitha always brings cookies. <laughs> 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 yeah. Tabitha Jeez. brings cookies. You, well, yeah, I think like 90% of the time when you work with her, there's cookies involved, which is good because she works a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so... If you're lucky to get on a show with her, you're going to get a cookie. Mm -hmm. Tabitha is great to work with. She's one of the best people in the city. Yeah. Very talented. Uh -huh. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's super funny, and I like her. Yeah. Um, I got one question yes. here. Yes. So, um, okay. Uh, how did you get the job for voicing the newest uh, LPS, and have you liked the series beforehand? How did I get the job? Did I? I don't think I auditioned for it did really? i maybe i did i can't remember i must have it was a while ago it's the same <laughs> yeah. it's the same people that do my little pony a lot of the same people isn't it media d d yeah 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 um so i guess it's a small community of actors and they get to know your work did i audition for it i must have yes so mm. that you get you what happens is you get like a little a one sheet of paper with like or two like six to ten lines of your dialogue and you have those two sheets of paper to flush out your character and then you go mm -hmm. into the studio and you get one to three takes. It's very quick. You go in there, you say your name, you read your your two sheets of paper through twice, and then they go, Thank you and that's it. You have <laughs> a you have two minutes to get a big job, and well, that's every how it works. Counts. Every second counts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got some questions from the community. Like, we asked some people for questions, and um, we have one person, Avatar Dino. He asked, um, what is your favorite Sugar Sprinkles line or moment, and can you relate to the character at all? Can I, oh, oh I, I like her laid-back way. I like how she is pretty chill, but then can freak out. And I think one of my favorite parts was um, in the in her first, like the Sweet Delights truck, when she's when um, the iguana stepped on her her tail, uh, her tail, <laughs> and then she said, uh, "I don't want to freak out right now, but that really hurt." And then she said, <laughs> I, "I like that part." I love that scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It must be really fun working in, in the studio, like, with all these funny moments. It is, it is. Uh, I love hearing everybody's different takes, and uh, usually somebody does something really funny, and you have to laugh as quietly as possible, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Without yep. ruining somebody else's take. It's good. Just lots of good moments in that studio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, which actually brings us to this next question. Um, during the making of the, of, of the season three episode, Secret C Cupid, Sugar Sprinkles makes these characters who are falling in love with her song, namely Russell and Penny Ling. Now, how much fun was it to record that episode on that day? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty fun. Uh, singing the song, uh, so we recorded the whole episode first, and then after, then everybody left, and I recorded the song separately. And they were trying to figure out how are we going to do it backwards? Originally, that must they have been really tough. Yeah, originally they sent me like what the song would sound like 
actually played backwards and it, and it was like I don't this is impossible I don't know how to make those sounds and then they figured out how to spell each word backwards and I had to sing it like that which took a few takes <laughs> to figure out oh, yeah <laughs> do you think you could give us a sample of the song oh okay <laughs> just quickly what did I say secret cupid is my name some think I'm cuckoo my secret's not too secret though because love's what I do do <laughs> That wow. still sounds so great. It's like the best song in the show. <laughs> really, you think it's better than than Sprinkles on My Head? I think yeah. Sprinkles on, I think Sprinkles on My Head is like Britney Spears' Hit Me Baby One More Time. There'll, there'll never be a hit bigger than that, but it was the launching off point. Yeah. <laughs> Curse that awesome ukulele. The curse is... Mm. I've got a question. How do you think Sugar Sprinkles obtained that power to make pets fall in love by just listening to her song? Ah, uh, hmm. Well, I think Sugar Sprinkles is just in tune with the powers of the universe, especially the powers of love. And that's a really impressive ukulele that she has. I think it all actually, it all lies in the ukulele. <laughs> the ukulele has so much power. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's so, a special strumming sequence that that uh, releases the magical. And this has nothing to do with all those sweets that she's. Has nothing to do with that at all. Has nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's more. something very strange going on with those cupcakes. Oh Ooh. dear. <laughs> it's magic. One ukulele to rule them all. <laughs> mhm. Mm yep. mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you like the pet shop <laughs> fandom? I didn't know there was. I didn't know there was one. Mm. I guess yeah, I it's like a really small, my... tight knit fandom, much smaller than MLP. Is it? So. Is there overlap here? Of... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, I, I love MLP too. Okay, and and do you guys like? Did you meet at Brony conventions, or do you guys? Yeah, meet I've been to some this, Brony or? conventions in the New York City area. Oh, okay. I, I met these YouTube. guys for through uh, through YouTube when I first started. And okay. so they all, I met them in the comment sections and they told me they had Skype and then I'm just like, oh cool, mm -hmm. I can talk to these guys. And then we oh. found out, then I found out on Facebook that we're all part of a group called the Pet Shop. Oh. And mm -hmm. then we all just took off from them. Yeah. Yeah, we're so like can, good friends you, before this. So you can meet people in the comment section of YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> you just start chatting back and forth and then, <laughs> and then you're like, I relate to these people. And then you yeah, meet up. Yeah, it's really weird oh, actually. Like, yeah. I like oh. them. I like these people. Let's add them on Skype. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is like deep internet world. Yeah. Yeah. Tumblr hmm. is like big with the, the the LPS fandom stuff. I mean, because that's that actually is where I actually got a bit bigger with just showing off my the pics of each screenshots of LPS. So yeah. Okay. Oh, and just for record, uh, for the LPS fandom, there's some places that are. Uh, they go really intense, and there's Georgia Ball, who is the comic writer for LPS. We had her on last Friday. Oh, cool. Um, she uh, she looked it up at first before we even knew about it, but she checked out the 4chan, and it's, oh my God. It, it's horrible, some of the things they do. Yeah, Mitz Metzger, you want to stay away from 4chan. It is like <laughs> the dark alley of the internet. So yeah, what I've just started hearing about it. What is 4chan? What is it's that? like an image board where anyone can post anything, and there are different uh, boards for different topics. But some of the boards are pretty bad, and some boards are really good, like the cartoons board and comics oh. and animation. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. But stay away from it. Is what is your advice? Yeah. Unless yeah. I want to be disturbed. I recommend you stay yes. away. From it. You're bet. You're better off just going into deviant art. Oh. oh. Yeah, DeviantArt is, you know, where everything is, you know, you know nothing sane. Intense. Yeah. <laughs> where everything is sane. <laughs> well, that kind of just makes me want to look at it more. Actually. Yeah, it's oh, like, it's, man, no. <laughs> it's like it reverse psychology. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, luckily, the weather is so beautiful here in Vancouver. This it's, week, it's beautiful so. here, too. Oh. Yeah, in same Pennsylvania? here. In Pennsylvania? Jersey. Oh, in Jersey. Here, New Jersey. Some people are in Pennsylvania. For me, it's here in Seattle. Yeah, me and, yeah, me and Trainer Ling were both in Pennsylvania. I can snakes in New Jersey. 
Williston Tennis Shops in Georgia, and Winged Ours 28 is in Seattle. Yeah. Whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're just talking. Had, we're just I didn't hear all you. over the world now. Yeah, I'm like I'm like one state from Canada, so. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is like one big organization fan base because uh, we've got. Uh, people on the fan base from Taiwan. We have some people in Russia, Great Britain. Oh, really? It's all over the place. Uh, when I was in South America, we saw some Littlest Pet Shop toys and stuff that you could buy. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it seems to be big down there. At least they care. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and the final question we have is what can we expect from the rest of the season? No like, spoilers, though. If, sure, yeah. if sugar sprinkles will come back or anything. Oh, well, they do get me to sign lots of pieces of paper that say <laughs> they'll take my firstborn child if I say yeah, anything no about spoilers. what's coming, what's coming up. So, <laughs> unfortunately, but, I cannot reveal any of the deep, dark secrets of no. Lilith's Pet Shop, but it will be good. It'll be <laughs> so entertaining. I really hope so. And so yeah. funny and so full of positive life lessons Blythe is really going to learn some good lessons mm -hmm. uh -huh. about friendship and <laughs> and magic and, and magic <laughs> second <laughs> wait what the yeah, power Blythe of joins a, a, a flight camp and um, uh, Sugar Sprinkles is her um, Captain. is her is her drill sergeant but then Sunil uh, he he, he wants to be the fastest flyer in Equestria. Wait, what's happening? Oh, God. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, curse you and your magical trolling powers. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that did happen. Imagine. <laughs> Imagination? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, you must talk of the power of love. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the power of cupcakes prevails. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, so we have someone else joining. He came out. He came really late, but he's here. Okay. That was uh, bacon. No. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is our friend Mark. Hi Mark. Hi Hilly. <laughs> <laughs> he's shy. Well, he's shy. Okay. Well, yeah. don't worry. I can't even see your face. <laughs> So, do we have any other questions? Um, I don't think I have everything. Uh, Bacon, you have anything? Uh, what did you guys ask? <laughs> we asked pretty much uh -oh. all, all of what we had. Oh, did you say, um, had you liked Will's Pet Shop series beforehand? Uh, I didn't know it. Oh, I, I, I auditioned for it at the beginning, I'm sure. So, that's when I first heard about it, when the auditions were coming out for the mm -hmm. series. Because it's uh, a really old toy line. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my, my little sister played with Lilith's Pet Shop when she was younger. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's when I heard about it years and years ago. But this incarnation, I heard about it when the first auditions happened. Oh, what is that? That's his phone. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He likes to beep a lot. Oh. <laughs> so we're, yeah. we're pretty much done, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, i say we got all the information we need. Cool. It was it was Sweet. great having you here today. It's really yes. an honor. Yes, nice, yeah. to, nice to chat not. with you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, when are you going to put this up? It'll be up later in the week, because I'm, yeah. I'm pretty busy this week. Okay. Maybe well, like let me Thursday know or Friday. on Twitter, and I'll, I'll retweet it. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Awesome. You guys have questions. Oh, and uh, also, Kelly, if you, if you want to join us for any chats or any uh, reviews, we do a review every Saturday, so if you ever want to join us for one, you're more than welcome to. Oh, thank you for the invitation. You're welcome. Cool. All right, guys. So you guys that are watching this interview, you guys can follow Kelly Metzger on Twitter. Um, at Angelhead Hipster. I had that Twitter handle before anyone cared. So. <laughs> oh, Kelly, one more yeah. thing. I do want to mention about the fact that uh, your tweet actually made my day with the hearts, hearts that just uh, start sprouting over me. <laughs> that, yeah. Oh. Great. Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. You're welcome. Spreading the love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> love. 
Yeah. That's right. Spread think, that love and spread those sprinkles. I think right Russell painting yeah. a cucumber. I don't that, know. Uh, <laughs> tweet that you sent me after sending the uh, message box that I sent. I already said, Signal Nation 98, were you staring at Sugar Sprinkles when she was singing the song? Because now you will love her forever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I did, and I won't regret it. You got it. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right, guys. It was mm-hmm. nice to have you here, Kelly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. You're more than welcome. All right, guys. So from Sinosh98, I can snake CC Trainer Ling downloads Bacon, Lost in Tennis Shop, Winging Rs28, and Kelly Metzger. This is Sinil Nation98 and the League of Pet Shoppers signing off. Hold on one moment. Alder, <laughs> Alden, you have lost your phone and Sugar Sprinkles has taken it. So you may want to ask it, ask for her to give it back if you're looking. <laughs> so you may wanna... I found it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. All right. okay. Well, nice to chat with you guys. It was really nice to it, chat with it you. It was really great to really yeah. meet you, Kelly. Yeah. Okay. See you on the Twitter. Bye. 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 Thank you. You Bye. too. Bye. 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 Bye.